to show some love to the East Coast, though. Um, of course, me and Z-Fly more usually on the uh, Southern California side of things. Yeah, usually not in this corner of our nation, but hey, you know what? Anywhere that Smash lives, that's where we're going to be. So Tri-State Showdown, of course, we have Lemon T and Corona 17 versus Nairo and Tweak. And of course, this is winner's semis Ooh. of doubles. Jeez, that was a lot of hits. Uh, surprisingly, not too much damage, though. But yeah, obviously, Nairo and Tweak probably the uh, top seed of this tournament, top team. Understandable. Right. right. <laughs> um, and they did win uh, the last doubles tournament they entered was Pound, and they got first place. And that was with Tweak on the uh, Banjo, Nairo on the Politana. So we'll, we'll see. I'm pretty sure Tweak pretty much is going to go Joker exclusively this uh, bracket. We saw Nairo kind of messing around with Wario earlier, mm -hmm. um, but it looks like we're going on the zero suit now. It's a little bit more comfortable. Yeah, it was a pretty interesting pick from Nairo to pick Wario. Or don't really see him using Wario too often in bracket. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know. It might have been like just something that he's working on, or at the same time, you know, Zero Two also kind of threw me off a little bit. Usually, I know a lot of people say that like Palutena isn't that great in doubles, so it kind of makes sense. And also, I believe Nairo did very well at main stage with um, Zero Two and doubles. Yeah, yeah. And of course, uh, Wolf and Chrom here for London T and Corona. Uh, pretty much very common uh, meta characters here. Uh, Wolf and Krom, very, very strong. Not the best recoveries. We'll see if they can make it work, though. It looks like no one has gotten gift so far. Actually, we did see a very early stock get taken away from Krom. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, he's at two. <laughs> oh, at one. Damn. Yeah, but oh, the Tetracarm coming out very clutch. Sending Nairo back a little bit, but you know what? Taking Wolf's stock. Man, the boot. Wolf dash attack. Such a powerful move. It crosses up so far. It's so safe. Combos, it kills, it does it all, man. This is one of the strongest dash attacks in the game, in my opinion. I'm talking about safe, you just see like Tweak get launched into the air, immediately going to Rebels Guard, and just Rebel Guard all the way down back to the stage. There was no threats, there was no worry of like him being launched anywhere. He was gonna make it back and maybe gain some meter along the way. Oh, yeah, for sure. That Rebels Guard is so good in that situation, and it's a frame three counter. Like, that is as fast as an air dodge, people. So <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's crazy. Oh, okay, now we're almost taking out Tweak there, but. Tweak's still sitting pretty with three stocks in hand. Uh, second Arsene is going to come up pretty soon, though. Nairo's still holding on to his stock. Wow, of course, Nairo being able to make it back, especially with Tweak, you know, closing out Wolf's second stock, going really deep with the back air. Okay, it looks like Arsene is coming out to play, though. But, oh, just as I say it, Tweak just gets launched to the left there. No play time for Arsene this, right now, at least. I mean, that's honestly the best time like to get rid of Joker. You know, he yes. finally got his meter. You know that the playstyle is about to switch up into like more of a nair and back air centric playstyle. So you just want to get rid of him, push him off stage. In fact, this this way just take a stock. Blue Team has had control of the center stage for so long. Now Red Team getting a bit of that. But man, Blue Team was under control for quite some time. Yeah, but it did take a lot of time to get to this point. As you can see, like they're still down a stock. I mean, that up out of shield is almost going to kill from across stage. Yeah, but here comes Arsene once again to play in the back air connect. Really bad position here. The counter, of course, going to be so deadly, especially versus Krom. Krom can get by some counters, but man, that uh, that Arsene counter, there is no escape. It's rough. Yeah, there's no like, escape. <laughs> he, like, Tweet can literally just stand at the ledge and just wait for it to, for him to say, like, like his, his main catchphrase. Okay, all right. Yeah, that was clean coming out from the Wolf. Uh, Gonna be a 1v1, and looks like Tweet just gonna hold on to that stock. Nairo with the Sheriff's stock at the very end there, but that was a really good side beat because he didn't get punched because he also hit Nairo with the beginning part, and then he hit uh, Tweet with that sweet spot there. Uh, really, really great play. And I mean, regardless, being able to take Nairo and Tweet down to the last stock like that, very, very strong coming out from Corona and Lemon Deep. Especially after losing a stock very early in the game. I mean, just that can be a complete momentum breaker. It does mental damage. It can be very difficult to come back, especially when you're playing against caliber uh, players of Tweak and Nairo's caliber. Right. So, good stuff to um, Lemon T for holding it down. All right, so going into game number two, looks like no character switches for either side, and not going to get a stage switch either. Pokemon Stadium 2. There's the up smash, but ooh, great interruption there from Prom, and of course, we'll try to get this bread and butter going. Oh man, Red Team just doing, speaking of bread and butters, they, they were like doing their bread and butters passing by each other. Like, oh, don't disturb me, you know, like, don't get in my way, I won't get in yours. Yeah, it's definitely like the, the two lane, the two lane freeway right there, you know, yeah. just keep going your own direction. 
which you know can be good sometimes in doubles. You know, usually you want to make use of like having that partner there to extend your combo, but if you're oh, both man. extending like each other's combos or just working your opponents individually, just keep it going. Nairo taking us uh, straight back in the history books there with that combo. Up air, up air, up B. Um, I know. Oh, okay. Really jab to back air. Let's go. Jab the back air. That that gets the job done. That pays the bills around here. Oh man, it has to, especially with you know, with we having Arsene out right now. Prom is not gonna be able to go off stage like at all. I love the forward throw coming out from Wolf as well. As you can see, it has a hitbox on the throw. So when you're uh, when the opposing teammate tries to come out and help, you can use that as a way of defense for yourself. Arsene back on the bench, but you know Tweak still throwing out a lot of back airs and catching a blue team off guard. There's that down gun, very, very pesky. Man, and red team with all the control here, the ledge trap coming out from Tweak, but blue team squeezes by, they get to the center stage. Okay, good dash up, up tilt is gonna take, oh no, that was friendly <laughs> fire, never mind! That was the worst up tilt! I mean, it, it did hit, right? It, it did hit. It got two people. Just, uh, the one that died was your team. I some mean, that, friendly fire there. That's unfortunate, though. That, that was like one of those scrambles where you're trying to get a kill, but then like, you know, your, your teammate just so happened to pick an option that didn't but quite you know, mesh well with yours. You know what, Krom is still swinging though, and that's the best yeah. type of Krom. He is, he knows he got a little bit of friendly fire, but guess what, he's still applying all the pressure at the ledge. Oh yeah, once again, red team, look at, and as you can see, you can really tell the experience coming out from Nairo and Tweet. They can both switch positions really well. Like, of course, um, Nairo's usually the one playing the front, but at any given moment, they're able to switch positions and just really keep the flow of the game going. Mm -hmm. Okay, wow, that up, that up air catching uh, the down air from Zero Suit Samus, like trying to make it back to the stage, actually took a stock. That's what actually put Tweak in an awkward position because not only was that like a star KO, so it gave Tweak like the maximum amount of time for being solo. Oh, yeah. And now Arsene, Arsene's getting so much value here. When you see Arsene not getting hit, Arsene's just gonna be out longer, doing more damage, being more pesky. So, ooh, the down air almost connects there. And Blue team. I mean, it's, it's still really close. Three stocks to three right now, though. Honestly, it's like, who's, who's going to be taking that stock? But good S smash coming from Tweak. He even positioned himself correctly so that the F throw from Wolf wouldn't connect. Right. It was just free charge time. Yeah, it was crazy, too, because he also leaned back as well. Looks like the share stock is going to come out from Blue Team. And just as that happens, Nairo will lose the stock there. It's going to be one stock apiece for everyone. But right now, Joker and Wolf. Got to stay kind of on the hind legs right now. That's right. And Wolf will throw out a big F down smash against Tweak, who was like stuck in the corner, but he rolled the perfect time, so the vulnerability didn't catch it. But that back air will catch Tweak. Okay, this is going to be big damage here for Blue Team. Oh, they mess up the ping pong. Still get 36, but usually in that kind of situation, you can get so much more. Oh, that up smash does, in fact, connect. And chasing with the four. Oh, wait. Jeez. Yo, that Wolf was getting hunted. Yeah, and Nairo just like three times in a row is able to apply that pressure while not getting hit by Krom. Like, that is wild. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Gets okay. the air dodge. Gets the air dodge. Nairo not able to punish the air dodge. He was looking for it, too. All right, so Krom is a character that can throw out a lot of buttons, and if you have really good air-to-air, -air, that's going to be pretty good against Zero Suit. You see Nairo throwing out a lot of these burst options, trying to beat him to the punch, essentially. Yeah, and he's trying to uh, outrange Krom with his forward air. You see it connecting every once in a while. But the jab into forward area does connect. And here comes the ledge pressure. Jab to back air. Pays the bills. Pays the bills. And it gets game number two. This is top eight territory, though. So this is best of five. Is it? This is doubles. I believe doubles top eight is best of five. All right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's, at least that's what I was told. It is best of five. Okay. Yeah, right, you, see, it is best you see right there under the 2GG sign, best of five. Oh, Master you're Ranking. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should never, <laughs> never, never underestimate what the Master Hand has told us. <laughs> it says five. And this layout is crisp, though. <laughs> I like it. But of course, guys, we are here at Tri State Showdown. If you guys are just tuning in, we are kicking off top eight of doubles. Um, winner side, of course, we got Lemon Tea and Corona on the Crom and Wolf. Here up against Nairo and Tweak. Yeah, but you see, we do have a bit of a character or a stage change down town and city. Yeah, probably just want a little bit more room to work with town. Very large stage, uh, platform layouts come and go. You can kind of get like a final destination esque stage. Yeah, you get the from transformation. Time to time. Yeah. At the same time, like just with the way that 
know, blue team is kind of living just for a very long time on that Pokemon Stadium. It's not going to be as useful here with the smaller blessings. Yeah, we'll, we'll see Ooh. if uh, red team can get some gimps because I feel like that was really the key to success, right? In game number one, red team got a ton of gimps, and it, it's just really hard. Whoa. Wow. That almost killed Krom, too, on, <laughs> on Town & City. Town & City has a very high ceiling. Back throw into the pass. Wow, it looks like Tweet maybe DIing down on that back throw, kind of mixing up the Prom there. Yeah, but being able to escape Prom, but there's another jab back air, but not taking the stock. I guess it was like mid percent. That's understandable. Wow, I'm not even sure what move he got hit by there. But yeah, so much chaos going on in the center, and there comes the Prom back air. Now Zero Suit trying to get out of the corner. No, never mind. Zero Suit's out for blood trying to get this gimp. I mean, that's the bounty hunter in Nairo. Constantly trying to hunt down this wolf. Oh, the interruption right there on that boost kick. Very, very important, but pays for it with his life. Yeah. Follow-up gimp coming out from Joker, man. Goes down there. Like the revenge kill from Krom. Able to land the back air onto Zero Suit Samus. Taking the stock. But yeah, I mean, we, we talked about the gimps earlier. And now that the gimps on Krom are getting online, the stocks are somewhat in favor of the red team. Not by much, only by one stock. Oh, but both of them getting scooped up by that boost kit. You can't save your teammate if you're in the same move. That's true. I mean, we saw like Kong kind of like getting hit onto these platforms. And honestly, like it's starting to be like the worst position possible for him. He's getting sharked underneath the platform. He's got, you know, Nairo coming from above, Tweak coming from the side. I'm like, look at that! Damn. Look at that! What was that? Forward tilt into the up smash. What a pass and, jeez, right now, this Joker, Zero Suit, looking clean. <laughs> they were both looking for the spike right there, too. You saw Nairo go for the kickflip. Yeah. Tweak was setting up for the down air. He had Arson out. Right there, tried to go into the uh, the Paralyze and have the grab happen at the same time. Oh, wow. Oh. wow. I'm very surprised the grab didn't uh, catch him there. Oh, man. I don't, I don't even oh, know what's coming out next. <laughs> he tried the foot slam out of the Paralyzer. You can do that. Oh, OK. Try to get fancy with it. All right, I like jab, how he's a jab. Beat. Nope. Hit Nair on the way out. <laughs> I liked how uh, Tweak used the jab there, so it gave Nairo time to do the normal getup and follow up. You, the follow up didn't happen, but just the little things. And you know that's something like that Tweak and Nairo are going to n make a mental note of, just the way that that Tweak did punish the throw, so that next time it happens, Nairo is able to follow up correctly. Oh, down smashing the, the opposite direction. We can see a forward throw. Oh, going for the release. Dash tag? Is that enough? No, not quite. Okay. Oh, almost catches the up tilt, but another dash tag to the left here. Tries to get the counter, the punish. DSS not going to kill with that dash tag. Okay, again, Wolf, that's going to be a re-grab. Just down tilt them both. <laughs> yeah. Get out of my way, Nairo. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that, that was really good on Nairo's part. Just going to get the trump. Mm -hmm. And right there, Tweak was just ready to catch the high recovery, right? So. Right. Then just right. reacted was, to the low recovery. It was very clear that Wolf wasn't ready for the ledge trump. You yeah. know, it really is a mix-up that isn't as uh, prevalent here in Smash Ultimate. You know, I mean, we saw it a lot in the previous iteration of the game. Yeah. But in Ultimate, you know, people kind of forget about it. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean, it, it's uh, definitely a thing. I think it's a healthy thing, though. Uh, you don't want the... We don't have to have a ledge grab limit if you have uh, no intensity on uh, <laughs> ledge grab. So that's always hype. Of course, uh, I come from the ancient era of Brawl, so we, we've had to implement rules like that because certain Man. players would abuse it. That sounded like dark times. Yeah, it was pretty dark. <laughs> Yuzu King just like on Rainbow Cruise. Ledge grab limits, getting chain grabs, yeah. DDD infinite corners. Yeah, it was, uh, I, I had fun. Good times. <laughs> I, I had fun, but. Well, you it, were DDD. It so. was definitely, yeah, I, I was a DDD. <laughs> All right, so ooh, uh, another switch up on the stage here. Looks like Battlefield is the pick. Um, Nairo and Tweak are going to be up 2-1 in the set count. We'll see if Lemon and T can bring this to a game number five. Hmm, I'm trying to think like what the logic was behind this counter pick. Uh, they, Blue team did do a very good job of like juggling red team when they were on game two of Pokemon Stadium, uh -huh. but that just wasn't available to them in game three. Like the platforms were not their friends, but wow, look at that up air train coming out from Crom. Yep, that's going to hook. Tweak up with the quick Arsene, taking that much damage, but yeah, I feel like Blue Team is doing fairly well. Wow, and right there, Krom almost dies. The uh, the down air up smash, probably one of Joker's, or Arsene, I should say, stronger confirms for sure. 
No, no, I think you had it right first. It was Joker's confirm, right? Arsene doesn't do anything. Yeah, really. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Arsene's just kind of chilling. Ooh, I like the early up. That was uh, definitely unconventional, oh. but now both characters off stage. That was so unfortunate. Like, you saw Krom actually setting up to, to throw out a back air and actually punish the neutral getup from Tweak, but a very unfortunate death attack from Wolf is going to mess up the entire play. Yeah, and that is – that sucks because I, I just feel like Blue Team was in complete control in the beginning of that match. Or they were. They game. were. And you know what? That's actually going to hurt their teamwork too because now they're going to be, like, overly cautious around each other. Hopefully they don't do that and they just like kind of, you know, put it out of their mind, just keep going, getting back into the game so that they can retake control here in game four. Yeah, because right now they need to wipe these stocks clean. They can't take too much damage at least, but right now Wolf already at 81%, uses the double jump, like the up and the Wolf Flash to finish off that Nairo stock. Mm, even a dash attack and a connect with Tweak able to make it back. Ooh, good bounce with the gun. Yes, yes, very nice. Very stylish. And I mean, that, that's the one thing about Joker, man. You have a lot of these, uh, like, special moves that you, uh -huh. can, you can add your own swag to, you know what I'm saying? The, the gun, sure. the side beam. For sure. Down smash into Nair, you know, back air coming from Krom. We're starting to see that control come out again. Whoa, what is going on? Nair almost got taken out by another wolf flash, and here comes the ledge trap from Krom. And there's that teamwork that we saw, like, earlier in this set coming out from Blue Team, and getting that up smash punish, get the revenge kill. But air dodge back just a little bit too soon. Yeah, and right there, I mean, we didn't see Joker get the immediate kill, but essentially for the up smash that happened on Zero Suit, we saw Joker was able to intervene and at least set up the edge guard situation, nail it, and get the stock. Mm -hmm. There's actually like a stock gain for Red Team. Like, cause they lost two for the one. Yeah. I mean, that's, yeah. that's a trade you always want to take. Always plus. Right now, Tweak still rocking all three stocks in the tank right now, 162. May I say, if he gets another Rebel Guard, we might see a third Arsene coming into play. For oh, no. The legendary three Arsene? Yeah, the three Arsene. Three stock. Arsene Tweak? Like, that sounds like a nightmare. But this Arsene has max rage. <laughs> oh, that's the okay. worst one. We're not going to okay. have to deal with that, though. Ooh, man, I'm trying to get the Chrome kill right off the top. Okay, there's going to be a back air to punch the F-Smash, but ooh. Wow. Both red teams swinging at Krom, just trying to get rid of this last stock. Okay, right now. Wow, and we're just seeing like a chain of different punches. Like, oh, you want neutral here, but they want neutral there. Go punish that. Like, yeah, it's just like the partners like just trading each other constantly. Right now, this is looking so grim for the blue team. Right now, Krom leading. Oh, and, and just as I say it, 155, and that's going to be the last stock. No, it's survive, but the, can you survive the edge guard to follow? The answer is no, and Nairo and Tweak will move on to winner's finals. I mean, just even like having to survive any of those interactions that Tweak and Nairo are throwing out. Like you saw a down smash into S smash, and Tweak threw out a down air to yeah. just like try and combo and end the game. It didn't take the stock. When we saw another back air come out, that you have to be aware of because that's going to take your stock. But then Nairo kick flips out and then side Bs. Just think about like the amount of area that covers. A lot. That's, that's too much. <laughs> too much.